Tell me, why does COBRTC, David Miscavige, the head of the Scientology religion, want to see me, his attorney? Why? Tell me. Your tone level is a little harsh there. It's an honor to be given an audience with COB David Miscavige. <laughs> He wants more threat on my threats to sue. Well, take a look at the take a look at what's happening. What is happening? We're getting book after book after book coming out. Yes. Did you write a threat to Larry Wright? Oh yes, Larry Wright's book going clear. Mm -hmm. Of course, we threatened him and his publisher. We wrote mm -hmm. a lot of threat letters saying it wasn't fact checked. It's not true. But they published anyway. Mm, what yes. about Vanity Fair? Yes did and you no. Hold on. Vanity Fair? With going clear, mm -hmm. they didn't publish it in England. We succeeded in stopping it getting published in England. Now, on Vanity Fair, let me recall. That was the article where Vanity Fair Maureen Orth was doing a piece on David Miscavige interviewing potential wives for Tom Cruise. Pimping for Tom Cruise. Yes, that refreshes my memory. We threatened Vanity Fair seriously. That was a very serious threat mm. to Mr. Graydon Carter. And they still published. Yes, but they were threatened. They almost didn't publish. It mm. almost worked. Mm. Nevertheless, they have this commitment to free speech. It's hard to stop. Some of these books, David Miscavige's niece, Jenna Miscavige Hill. Was her believe, publisher threatened? We threatened her publisher. Mm. But you can't always stop the publication of books. You publish Scientology books, they get to publish books. So we have to find ways to combat them using more innovative threats, maybe. See, here's the thing. Yes. We threaten every journalist, yes. every TV station, every media person, and now the internet is laughing at us being toothless. No. Stop. Don't touch the camera. Go ahead, sue me. You refuse. You want me? You prefer to be sued. We're not afraid of you. Okay. Anything you do is just going to make more attention. We only threaten to sue, and we never sue. How do we resolve that? Well, first of all, that's somewhat of a generality. The entire internet is not laughing at you. Only part of the internet. Granted, a large part. But if you could help me out. Like I said before, run things by me. Mm. For example, you're in a court in Texas right now because you have the squirrel busters. Well, Marty, can you go get me your meter? Marty, can you bring me a PC I folder? Got a squirrel here. So I'm, as your lawyer, handling things after the disaster, not before. That's why I'm saying maybe you should review things with me and maybe you wouldn't get so many of these books. Yes, but the subject is this. Yes. Something is wrong with this threatening. First of all, it's not working. The media have got to know that these threats are idle threats. How do we disguise them more? Maybe with more huff and puff, maybe with more viciousness, mm -hmm. maybe with more overwhelm. We need to give them a severe reality adjustment. You mean a good old face ripping? Hmm. We've got to stop the adverse publicity. Well, if you want to keep on doing what you're doing, there may be some adverse publicity. So what we will do is think of some new type of case law to argue. Maybe we should argue that it, it's not fair. Scientology as a religion is being attacked. I think you should turn up the knob on the persecution volume. I see. We do have huge religious rights. Yes, you First do. First Amendment rights. Yes. The Irish said we were a religion. And all these religious rights belong to us. How can they persecute a religion? Exactly. Maybe you should start a social betterment group called Concerned Citizens Against Attacks on Religion. Mm. You know, enjoying some lesser groups that are vicious and uh, 
work with someone like Westboro Baptist. Maybe go and lead with these other sorts of groups that are sometimes vivid in their displays of their religious freedom. You know, we as the Church of Scientology have a dogged determinism to win this battle. We are going to prevail. We are going to win. Never has our determination been more solid. Do you understand that? Fully understood. And I'm here to help you as your attorney. I'll push it as far as I can legally as I've told you before. We'll take it right up to the edge of the law, but not beyond. Are you with me in this?